Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avrin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Rome Mod Stale. This board features good old-fashioned traditional camber, so from contact point to contact point, you have that arc of traditional camber that's going to give you the load, pop, snap, and drive from this board. This board is available in 153, 156, 159, and 157 wide. I rode this board on a sunny, mostly bluebird day. There was a little bit of haze in the air, and there were warmer temps. You had firm, fast corduroy, soft and creamy corduroy, chunder, push mounts, kind of just a mix of spring-like conditions, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label Bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. All right, so it's a high-end park board, which means it's past middle-of-the-road flex. So it's on the slightly stiffer side, but it's not a full-blown plank. So what you get is softer flex starting at the contact points and then about a third of the way back towards the insert pack, it progressively stiffens up through the middle with a noticeable amount of torsional flex, but it's not overly abundant. It really doesn't cause you to over-twist the board when you come down and land a little uneven. Stability is the name of the game through the insert pack and out towards the tips. Right about where the rods are in the nose, you start to notice that it does get some chatter and you will feel that a little bit underfoot in really choppy terrain. That nose or that tail can buckle up a little bit. Once again, that will help make it feel unstable. But overall, once again, that will add to some chatter, but overall, it is super stable through the center. You really don't have to worry about crushing with this thing at all. This board is meant to get you up in the air. You got a stiffer flex, traditional camber, omega hot rods in the nose and the tail, which give you a turbo boost after you've loaded the camber section. So when you load this board up, it wants to react. And then when you activate those carbon rods, whew, your boost into the moon. This is a board that will pop off over or onto anything. And when it comes to jumps, the bigger, the better. I don't hit big jumps anymore. I'm old as fuck. But if I was still young, I would definitely be railing big jumps with this thing. This board's got serious pop and it just catapults you off the lip of the jump. So if you're one of those guys that really likes airtime, you need to be looking at this. If you're someone that wants to ollie over a five foot high slow sign, you need to be looking at this. It's very reactive when you load that camber up. You feel instantaneously how this thing wants to pop. All right, so it's a high-end freestyle board with slightly softer tips and camber. You really have to engage it to butter out at those contact points, and you're gonna push hard into it. Now, while they are a little bit softer and you can feel that flex there, you're contending with those Omega carbon rods as well as the traditional camera of this board. It's gonna fight you on that. So you wanna use a little more speed and a little more pressure when you butter. It's not a butter stick by any means, but can it handle it? Yes. Now the same thing can be said with jibbing. More speed, more pressure. You're really gonna weight the outside of the binding and push out into that tail or the nose by the contact point. And then you're gonna feel that rebound from those carbon rods as well as the traditional camber. It wants to snap out of any feature. And when you go sideways, there's a slight cradling around the feature, but overall, it's so stiff and so aggressive, it doesn't clap out. It's designed for slope style jibbing realistically. And well, you're not hitting the do tour or the X Games course. So let's just be honest, you're probably gonna use this thing for air awareness more than jibbing. There's a smooth and fluid nimbleness to this board as it transitions from edge to edge. You can just feel that roll. And while it does engage out at the contact points, you end up steering it more underfoot, which helps with those nuanced turns as you come into a feature or if you just got it make your way around someone in the park. Now, when you want to lay this board over, you can, and you're going to drive it from the center back through the tail. You can really push off that tail and feel that power to snap you out of the turn. This is a deck that when you're being laid back, you can be laid back, but when you want to engage and feel that turbo power take over, it lets you. For a twin and being high end and camber, it's an amazing board for carving. Now, the big thing to note is when you do have it on edge, it doesn't feel as locked in as other boards. You almost feel slightly light on edge, which is okay because that's where that fluid transmission comes through. You're not so engaged on the edge that you feel that you you just have to ride the carve out. You can disengage it, roll over onto the other edge, 
and do the same thing. Overall, this board's a blast for short, tight, quick carves, long, hard carves, medium, mellow carves, or deep-ass Euro carves. Who's this board for? The high-end park rider that loves camber. So since the last time I rode this board, I feel like they soften the tips up just a hair. It makes it easier to press. It's easier to engage those rods, get more snap out of it. Overall, it makes for a better ride. There's more pop out of it because those tips flex more and then rebound from the camper and those Omega hot rods. It's good. This board will get you in the air if you haven't gathered that already from this review. I really was thoroughly impressed with how snappy this thing is. Comparable boards, the Nitro Beast, the Capita Outsiders, the Libtech TRS. Binding recommendations, the Rome Katana, the Nitro Team Pro, the K2 Formula. This has been my review of the Rome Mod Stale. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.